I'm going to show you how to automatically create QR codes and barcodes to help you manage your inventory or any other process that could benefit from one of those options. Check it out. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business process and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, you can visit our website, interdevsolutions.com, or you can click the link in the description below to book a free consult. I'm going to start with an inventory solution that I created a few weeks ago. There is a tutorial on my YouTube channel if you want to start there. So I'm going to jump right in to a solution that's already being developed and has records that do exist. A couple things that we want to do. I have it set up, but shows the quantity available in total across all of my locations. I'm just going to give a quick run through here. Here's my products. Here's my inventory that is grouped by location. These are transactions. This is when I have product come in, product go out and any adjustments that I need to make. And then here's my locations. You could have any number of locations that exist where you keep your inventory, whether that's at a storefront or warehouse or otherwise. Most of what we're going to do is going to be within this product table. First thing that I do want to do is show you a couple of options here. With this link to inventory, if I go in and expand or open the record, I have the link to inventory here. This view here, I could click into it or look over here and see my inventory quantity per location, but there is a nicer way to set this up. The nice thing about the linked records within SmartSuite is if I go into modify field settings, go to this display format, and I can change it to a table display. I'll go into fields. I already have it set up correctly here. I've got location and quantity available showing. I'm going to sort it by location. Sure, that's fine. It'll show me each location here and it will show me the quantity available at each location. That's one quick method to be able to view per item or per product, how much inventory I have and where. Another neat thing about SmartSuite is this is a fairly recent update. If I go into this action menu, I can export this view to a PDF. I'll just click export to PDF and sure, I'll save that and I can open it. And this is what it would look like. It just gives me a quick high level overview if I needed to create a report for whatever reason on that specific item. Something else I can do, this shows me the quantity available across all of the locations. We can go in, we'll duplicate this field We'll call this quantity available. Maybe make this a storefront field. And we could do this for each of the locations. So now if I double click into it, I will have to change this formula up a little bit, but that's fine. We'll just change this to a sum if, and the criteria is going to be this link to inventory dot location is equal to storefront. If I hit save, we can see that it will get the storefront quantity available for that specific location. So if I go in again, I can now duplicate this field. We'll change quantity available and we'll do warehouse one. I just want to double check that I've got that correct. Yes. So that's warehouse one. And I can even just copy that text go over here to warehouse one and change this here to warehouse one. And if I want to make it a little bit easier to read, I could just do something like this. So that's warehouse one quantity. And we'll just do the last one here quickly as well. We'll do warehouse two, and we'll have to go in and change the formula. Just simply change that to warehouse two. So now we have a breakdown for each location. So we have our total quantity available and then per location. Now we could go up to here. We'll do an export view, and this will export all of our records within this current view. We could send it to a CSV, to Google Sheets, Excel, or just a PDF. And I'll just do another PDF quickly here to demonstrate what I am talking about. So save that, and I will open it up here. And now we can see it's not the nicest format currently. It is probably better off to edit this view a little bit or export it to a CSV or Google Sheets or something like that, because you can work with the data a little bit better. This way it displays it across multiple pages and it's not the easiest to read. But 
you get the point that you can export this data as well if you need to create some sort of report or something along those lines. Now getting into the barcode and the QR code generation, depending on the system or if you have a different type of front end, there's a few different ways of doing this. If you want everything to live within smart suites, I would recommend passing the full record URL to the QR code so that when you scan it, it will open up that URL or open up that record and expand it. So what I mean is if I click the expand here, click this copy link to clipboard. What that would look like is this is the full URL for your solution and table and the actual record that we're looking at here. So this is the record ID. So basically what I would do is copy everything from the equals over to the left and then dynamically pass in the ID here within make. And I will show you what that looks like with that moment. But what that will do is when you scan it, it will open up this record that we see currently. The other thing that you could do is just simply pass the SKU to the barcode so that when it is scanned, if you have some other system set up, that will just pull in that SKU number. So it completely is dependent on you and how you want it to be set up. Let's just go in and we will add a new file or image field type. And I'm just going to call this QR code. Save that. And now what I can do is go into make.com and that's what we are going to use to generate the QR code or the barcode and pass it to our solution. And to make, again, there's a link in the description below to get started and to get signed up. I'm just going to label my scenario. There's going to be a number of ways to set this up. I'm going to use the smart suite, watch updated records, create a new web. I just do when product is active and make sure I've got the right connection selected. So that's correct. Now I can go into my solution here, which is just going to be inventory, the table, I want the products table and I can click save. This automatically builds our webhook for us. And then when the record is updated, actually we'll change this to when record matches condition and we will select the field product status and the value is when the product status is selected as active, this scenario will trigger. So we can hit OK. And now we can go in into Smart Suite. We will do update a record. Make sure you have the right connection selected again. And solution, inventory, select your table here, which is products. And then we'll use the map. We'll just pass in the ID from this module. And if we go down to QR code, we can pass in the file name, which I will just use the SKU number and put PNG. And then the file URL here is going to be from this API endpoint. So what it's going to look like is something like this. Here's the API endpoint. What I have is the QR code that I want to generate. That's where you change it is right here. Again, if you go into the read the docs here, you can view the different styles. And these are basically the different styles that we have access to through this API endpoint. So again, I'm just going to use the QR code and within the docs, it will sh say or show me that it's just QR. So I'm going to leave it as QR. And then on the other side of the slash, I'm just going to pass in the SKU. What this is going to do is it's going to create a QR code that when it's scanned, basically all it's going to do is bring in the SKU number. So it's really not that helpful to us. You'd probably use this more. So if you want to create barcodes and if you had some other system set up with a QR code, it's probably more helpful to use some form of URL as I previously mentioned. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you this really quickly, show you what it looks like. So if I go in here, I'll save this. I can do run once, give it a shot. I'll go back to here and active. Now we can see that it triggered and looks like it uploaded the QR code correctly. It did. If I scanned this with a QR code tool, it would show me that it's just going to bring in the SKU, which is 105. Again, that's probably useful if you wanted to use a barcode, but for a QR code, depending on the devices you're using in your setup, probably not that helpful. I'm just going to delete this one, move this back inactive. I will open it up 
and I will just click this copy link to clipboard option. I'll go into make. And then what I want to do actually is bring in a compose a string module. So the string is just simply going to be that whole URL. And I'm just going to remove all the way up to the equals symbol here. So this is the record ID. So I just want to dynamically pass in this record ID here. So I'll hit OK. I'll go back into the update a smart suite module. And once it loads here, I'll go down to where I passed in the SKU. I'm just going to pick that out now and just move in the text here that we've dynamically created. So if I hit save, and now if I go into this run once, go back into smart suite, and I flip this to active, we can see that it will trigger here in a moment and looks like again, it was successful. So it's passed in this QR code. So when this QR code gets scanned, it will open up the record in line directly, and then you can view the quantity available at each location. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more tutorials in the future.